Greetings and welcome to Melodramatic Science Theatre. This week's episode, The Ripening of the Fruit, explores the age-old question, why is this fruit all mushy? I swear I just bought the plastic thing. Nathaniel, my love, thank heavens you've returned to me. I thought you'd been eaten. My dear Sandra, how I've missed you so. You wouldn't believe the things I've seen. I'm ever so relieved that you... Oh! You've been injured, my darling. Yes, the tale is a tragic one. I was pulled from your rapturous embrace for three terrible days and trapped in a lunchbox. My darling, I fear I may swoon. Be strong, my love, and steal your delicate pits, for I must impart on you most dreadful news. Oh! I see that the cowardly brigand Nathaniel has returned. How dare you show your miserable pulp in this bowl after you abandoned my daughter on the day of your wedding, you spineless cur! Quiet your temper, my husband. Did you not see that poor Nathaniel was stolen away from us? I saw only that he fled, not the means by which he prepared his cowardice. I claim innocence. Scoundrel! My love would never abandon me. I swear it. A liar and a deserter. I'll have your seeds for this. How could Nathaniel have fled? He has no limbs. None of us do. What are these grim tidings you speak of, Nathaniel? I have disagreed- Thy fury is quelled for the moment, you rapscallion, but I warn you. Should you break my daughter's heart a second time, I'll see you juiced! I fear there may not be time for that, your highness. You see, I overheard the human speaking during my imprisonment, and I learned the great and terrible truth of Atheline. <gasps> what is the meaning of this? How dare you speak of this arcane magic in my bowl, in the presence of my daughter, no less? Ethylene is no magic, my liege. It is a plant hormone. A hormone? Yes, my dear, a hormone. A small molecule that our cells use to communicate with each other and regulate metabolic activity throughout our bodies. Do you mean to say that our cells speak to one another? Indeed they do, your highness, as do cells of other plants and animals. How curious. And what, precisely, does this ethylene tell the cells to do? Many things, my lady. Seed germination, root initiation, flower development. Lovely! And in some fruits, ripening. (gasps) Silence! Nathaniel, you villain, why do you trouble us with this vile conversation? Does your wickedness know no end? I speak the truth, my lord. Ethylene is a plant hormone responsible for ripening. It is also released as a response to environmental stress and damage. Oh, my love, I don't care about plant hormones or ripening. I love you. Let us be wed this night. I forbid it! You cannot stop our love, father. Nathaniel is the fruit I must marry. Dear sweet Sandra, would that I could spend an eternity with you. Alas, though the ethylene released by my injuries will hasten my demise, your citrus lineage protects you from the ripening effects. It cannot be! He speaks the truth. Citrus are non-climacteric fruit. Once removed from the tree, we will ripen no further, regardless of ethylene exposure. What cruel fate that my love should be a climacteric fruit. Please, beloved Sandra, do not grieve for me. Know only that my love for you is true, and eternal as... (laughs) Did somebody say something? This has been Melodramatic Science Theatre. Thank you for joining us, and please tune in to next week's episode, Much Ado About Monotremes. If you have any questions about this week's episode, or suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments.